Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cactus farm in 1.16. I know I created a cactus farm a while back, but that one just took too many resources, so I'm rebuilding it today, and this one is a lot better designed. This cactus farm outputs a ton of cactus and doesn't take too many of your resources. Most cactus farms have glass on the side, so the cactus doesn't get caught over here on the ledge or even outside and this one i put a three block gap between the cactus and this uh, block here so the cactus doesn't fall here or on the ground and yes you will lose some cactus from this it is not lossless um, as you can see some of the cactus will land on top of the fence posts as you can see right here this cactus is just sitting there but you really can't do anything about that and sometimes the cactus will just pop off and land on another cactus which uh, the cactus will get destroyed but a large quantity of the cactus will land in the water stream and it will flow down into the hoppers below this farm isn't too complicated to build there's no redstone involved it's just very repetitive you just have to place the blocks in the same place over and over but before this video starts i just have a massive favor to ask about 99 percent of people watching this right now are not actually subscribed so if you enjoy my content please hit that subscribe button now let's get right into the video all right to start off with this build go ahead and find yourself a big fat piece of land because this cactus farm is huge and from here go ahead and place down a temporary block with a chest on top and then break that block there and then just place a hopper on top of the chest and then go ahead and place two hoppers going into the side of the chest, like so, and do it on the other side over here. So you should have five hoppers in total like that. And then on one of the sides, just go ahead and place down eight blocks. So one, two, and then do that on the other side over here. All right, now come to one of the sides and place down a temporary block on the end of the block, and then just place down eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go ahead and do that on the other side as well. So you should have eight blocks on both sides, and then place down a block right there, and then you can break the temporary block, and then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side over here. So a temporary block, and then eight blocks on either side. And all we're doing right now is just creating the frame for the base of the cactus farm where the collection system is going to be. Now from here, go to the ends of these blocks and then place a temporary block and then place down two blocks like that, like so. And then do that on this side as well and on every single point. Now you should have something looking like this. Now all you have to do is fill in the gap between this one and that one uh, for this entire area, except for this line here where the hoppers are. Once you finish this large platform, go ahead and go to the middle of the build at this block right here and then just go up two blocks like this, one, two, and then go ahead and place two blocks along the side right here like this and do that on the other side as well over here. So just do that for this side and over here as well. All right, now once you finish that, you should have a two block high uh, wall going along this part here. And on this raised area, just go ahead and place blocks around it like this. And make sure it's just one block, not two. All right, you should have a little platform like this. And from here, we're gonna be placing down the blocks where the sand and cactus are gonna sit on top of. We're not gonna put in the water just yet because it's just gonna get in the way. So from your corner, go ahead and go out three diagonal blocks. You guys don't have to do this, but I'm gonna be placing down three uh, red blocks so you guys can visualize uh, where the blocks should go. And go out three like this, so three diagonal blocks. And on your um, fourth block here, place down two temporary blocks and a solid block on the top. So again, three diagonal blocks and one block there. Now from this floating block here, go ahead and go to one of the sides and then count out 15 blocks. And it should be striped. And what I mean by striped is you place down a temporary block and then a solid block, a temporary block, and then a solid block. As you can see, it has a striped pattern like so. And just go out 15 blocks in total. And to be efficient about this, I'd recommend having your solid block in your first slot and your temporary block in your second slot so you can do it really fast. So you should have something like this and make sure to count it out and it is 15 blocks like this and there should be three blocks extra at the end. So one, two, three, then you've done it right. Now again, do the same thing on this side over here. 
just count out 15 blocks from here. So this would be block one, two, three. So now you should have a little L shape like this with temporary blocks and your solid blocks. Now it's pretty straightforward from here. So it's just gonna be pretty repetitive. So from this little strip here, just come to this block here and then just place down a temporary, a solid block, temporary, solid block, temporary, solid block. And then do that all the way up until here and fill in all of the rows. All right, so I just finished it and you should have the temporary block and then a solid block just like this. Now don't remove the temporary blocks just yet. What we're gonna do now is place down the, the sand and cactus. So from here, just place down all of your sand on top of the solid blocks. And you can do this uh, just like uh, separately. You can do the sand or you can do the sand and cactus at the same time. So like this, or you can just place the sand down and then the cactus on top. It's just up to you. Now, once you finish placing all of your cactus and sand, all you have to do now is just wait. So just wait for the cactus to grow at least two high or maybe even three high. Now, once all your cactus is grown, we have to place down the fence gates. So the cactus, uh, when it grows, it will just pop off and go into the hoppers below. So I found the best way to do this in survival mode is just go down here and just look upwards and point your cursor on the uh, second block of the cactus and then just place down um, your fence gate or your fence and do that on every single one of them and make sure you do that on every single row of the cactus. Alright now once you finish placing all of your fences go ahead and just break all of the temporary blocks below like this. Now come to the area below and now we're gonna place down all of our water sources. So from the all of these blocks above uh, here, just place uh, water all along here and make sure to water log every single lo block. And yes, you're gonna need a infinite water source for this. So just water log all of the top blocks like that. And the water should flow all the way until the edge here and push all of the cactus into those hoppers. And make sure to do it on the other side as well. And now you're probably wondering why the cactus isn't going into the hoppers. It's because we haven't put the water sources on this side here and on that side over there. So just place a water source here on the last block and that should push all of the cactus into the hoppers and do that on the other side as well. And I think this is a visual effect and it shows the water uh, not like slanting downwards, but it still works and pushes the uh, cactus into the chests. And as you can see, all of your cactus is collecting into this chest here and the hoppers are picking all of your cactus up. And to start the second layer, go ahead and place down a temporary block on top of the cactus and then place down a solid block there. And just repeat the steps I did in the beginning of the video. I'll put a timestamp on the screen right now. And I'm just gonna quickly time lapse the two extra layers for you guys to see. So there is the finished cactus farm for you. It didn't take me too long to build. It's just very repetitive. And to access your cactus, it's super simple. Obviously, it's just gonna be on the bottom where the chest is. And if you wanna expand your storage system, you're probably gonna want to uh, just place down another chest and then uh, put a hopper, just place another chest down below here. And then just place a hopper going into that chest, fairly simple. And there is your extended storage system. And you can just keep doing that for more storage. And if you guys have any questions or feedback about this cactus farm, feel free to put it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end.